Julie, and I now am a volunteer at Teen Challenge, but that's not how it started off for me. Um, for over 25 years, I was in addiction, alcohol and drugs, and I had an emergency situation, <laughs> and I asked the Lord, I'd give him my life if he helped me to save my son, and in that moment of all the mess and all the madness, um, I then became a Christian, but the mess of my life, um, the drugs and the alcohol, I hadn't even considered that. But um, bit by bit, God started to clean up my mess. And I remember being in a big church and uh, as a drug addict and an alcoholic, I think I got three months clean and sober and then I started to fall. And I didn't know who to talk to about it because everybody sort of thought, oh, she's great, she's doing brilliant, doesn't need any help. Um, but I remember praying about it, thinking and asking God, am I really saved? Because I keep going back and using drugs. And I remember being in a new converts class and I was, it was a week and it was what it means to be a witness for Jesus Christ. And this man here walked into the room and he explained that he worked for Teen Challenge and that he was there to just ha try and reach people, people who were broken and desperate. And, you know, it was mostly alcohol and drugs. And I'm thinking, that's me. And he was like, um, you know, just get them into a place, give them a bit of help. Um, obviously, the Lord had already started to do a work in me, but I needed a bit more. So I started to go along to the drop-in. Um, it was just a wee place where we all hung out twice a week. And see, by going there, it enabled me to be myself because addicts have their own code, their own language. <laughs> they all understand each other. But everybody was at a different stage. I mean, I remember even seeing Josh there, you know, and it's great for me and encouragement as I probably encourage him. He encourages me. Um, plenty of others um, that were coming in, all at different stages in our recovery. And it was a place where I was able to freely talk about things. Um, always ask him silly questions. <laughs> um, um, there was fellowship there and I was always, always encouraged. And it was really, really important to me because um, during my first seven months of being saved, I lost three members of my family to drugs. And I was actually in Carlisle House, just the six week program. And I just thought I need to address a few things. So I went there and while I was in there, it was my youngest son had died of drugs. And in that moment, I suppose I could have walked out the door and took, took drugs. But in, in, at that time, I leaned more into God. I give him, I just, I hadn't, I, I just couldn't, didn't have all the answers and I was hurting and I just, I knew I didn't want to take drugs again. But in that moment, I really did. I, I had a real encounter with Jesus Christ and I know that it was during that time, everybody else was more worried about me than I was, but the Lord really did bring me through it. And the verse that it comes to mind when I think about Teen Challenge and what it means to me, I think about compassion. I think about everybody can have compassion, but some people have compassion for others better than, than some people. Because I sat in a church that was really big but I didn't come across anybody who had compassion for drug addicts or knew how to deal with a drug addict. But when I went to Teen Challenge, there was compassion. And that same compassion was in my heart that one day I would be able to help others. And I, this scripture, I'm going to read it from the message because to me it means you don't have to explain any part of it. And it says, all praise to God and the Father, our Master, Jesus the Messiah, Father of all mercy, God of all healing counsel, and this is the bit that really gets me. He comes alongside of us when we go through hard times. And before you know it, he brings us along someone else who is going through hard times so that we can there that so that we can be there for that person just as God was there for us. And when I think of my experience and how I have grown in Christ and how I have been encouraged, um, I then got an opportunity to go. Teen Challenge Women's Center and help other women and I, I then always took part in outreach. I found I was good at talking to people because I could break those barriers down because I had been there myself and 
God opens opportunities. Today I was in recovery college and I also go to the regular college. And this is probably a compliment for Lee, but I was asked today, who inspires me? And I says, my pastor Lee inspires me because if I'm cold as a Christian, <laughs> he said to me, what are you doing for the Lord? <laughs> Wake me up again. Um, he's always biblical about things. I can always rely on his advice. And he has encouraged me, encouraged me so much um, to seek the Lord, not to seek him or to, to seek the Lord and to follow your passions and to have compassion for others, for those that are broken and those who need your help. So that would be what it means to me. Thank you.